Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the RAND between function to generate random numbers in your spreadsheet. And then I'm going to demonstrate an absolutely incredible way that with one mouse movement, you can substitute edit, copy, edit, paste specials when we need to convert the randomly generated formulas into values. When I create the examples for this podcast, I frequently use the RAND between function. RAND between requires two arguments, the bottom number and the top number. The bottom number is a number of your choice. The top number is a number of your choice. So this is the way it works, equals RAND between left parentheses. Let's use control A to bring up the function arguments wizard. Bottom number I could put in 25. Top number I could put in 100. It's your choice. In this case you see that I get a randomly generated number of 36. Now this would be onerous if I went through and tried to do this for each cell. Rather let's do it as a block. So up here select the block and use our ran between function equals ran between left parentheses. In this case, let's make a bottom number of 100, comma, and a top number of 1,000. So we'll have randomly generated numbers between 100 and 1,000. Now, since I've chosen this as a block to have each of the cells in this block populated all at once, I hold down Control while I hit Enter. And there you go. I've got randomly generated numbers. Now, before you can use ran between, it is one of the functions that's available in the analysis tool pack. Now, the analysis tool pack is an add-in. It is usually installed with installations of Excel 2003, but it's not activated by default. So you go to Tools, Add-ins, and then make sure that there's a check mark next to the Analysis Tool Pack. So if you try to do RAND between and it doesn't work, go back, Tools, Add-ins, the Analysis Tool Pack. Make sure that there's a check there. It'll take just a few seconds and it's installed. Okay, now each one of these cells is still a volatile formula. So what I have to do is I have to convert them from formulas into values. Now normally I would select the range and I would copy and then I would choose Paste Special and Values and then click OK. Let me cancel this for a second. Another way that we can do this if you like the mouse, select the range, go up and use the copy icon and then there's a drop down menu next to paste and we could choose values. So now the formulas have been converted into values. Let me use control Z to undo this. Now these are still formulas. Let me demonstrate an absolutely incredible way. I just learned about this from watching one of Bill Jellin, Mr. Excel's videos and he was amazed when someone in his audience told him how to do this. We select the range with our right mouse, with our right mouse, select one of the borders of your range and drag it to the right and drag it back in place. This context sensitive menu comes up and says copy here is values only and there you go. With that one mouse move, and let me demonstrate it again, let me convert these back into formulas. So these are formulas. Select the range, right mouse click on the border, drag it to the right, drag it back in place and choose copy here as values only. It's incredible, isn't it? Unbelievable how that works. So there you go. You've learned how to generate random numbers in your spreadsheet and with one incredible movement of the mouse to convert those formulas into values. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.